Yeah, my name is uh, Susanne Blumenthal and I'm the conductor of MAM and I'm living in Cologne, Germany. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, Daniel Lorenzo. Um, I'm from Barcelona actually, but I live already forever in Germany. Forever. <laughs> so, Past and future. Yeah, well, <laughs> yes, <laughs> like 15 years or so in, in Germany, uh, in Frankfurt, and I'm the pianist of the ensemble. Yeah. Okay, I'm uh, Gregor Schulenburg. I'm the flutist of the ensemble and I'm based in Berlin, so I live in Berlin. I'm Richard Haynes, um, I play clarinet with Mum and I'm from Brisbane, Australia. You are from? Brisbane, Australia. Right, and you live in? Bern, in Switzerland. So you live all in different cities of Germany? Yes. yes. Or Switzerland, so it's <laughs> if you call it Germany. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> 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 Which me makes uh, rehearsals very easy, as you can yes. imagine. Yes, yes. yes. great. <laughs> Less <laughs> organized. Uh, I also want to know a little the, the, the vision and, uh, that brings uh, MAM manufacture for uh, mm -hmm. actual no, music, actual music, yeah. manufacture, manufac manufac fabrica per, per, per musica mm -hmm. actual. No? Mm -hmm. uh, there is a statement in your website, uh, and also in the program mm -hmm. of, mixture, of, of the festival mixture, that says the musicians see themselves as a liberal and internationally positioned collective. So liberal and internationally positioned collective, one that extends the idea of an ensemble, ensemble through interdisciplinary engagement, bringing to life new sounds and sounds concept. Interdisciplinary engagement and a liberal collective. Mm -hmm. You can explain us this a little bit more? Yeah. So the idea of the ensemble is that of course, we play the contemporary literature like Griset, like Schoenberg, Boulez, all these normal things. But um, from the beginning, we wanted to do something else to um, widen the idea of just being an uh, ensemble and working with dancers, with theater people, with uh, researchers, uh, with video artists. So that it's not only just, okay, we are players and we play your piece. But we are also a um, performance that, uh, that um, develop new music, new concepts, new uh, arts of, uh, kind of arts. Mm -hmm. For instance, yeah, you, we were uh, last month in Berlin, we had a residency in the Academy the, uh, of the Arts. We were working uh, on a uh, neurological um, aspect and we were uh, doing um, YouTube uh, um, films on that, uh, based on the um, very uh, extended uh, social uh, phenomenon, which is ASMR. It's a long story, so. It's <laughs> <laughs> about feelings. Yeah, yeah small yeah. noises. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is now yeah. booming in the internet, yeah, yeah, but yeah. we took it in a in an artistic way. Yeah. And so we developed uh, many new things. And these kind of uh, experiences we do it uh, quite often. And uh, we also work with dancers, many things with theater. Mm -hmm. So that's a, bit, a little bit the idea. Of, uh, and Susan, what, what are the implications then for a conductor? For a conductor? Um, mainly it's to organize the piece, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, just pieces uh, like Crisé or it's just to conduct but um, this uh, kind of stuff uh, Daniel talked about it's more like um, to be a um, uh, translator between composer with the special idea of a concept and the musicians to do the performance to do the music and uh, to translate this this special um, uh, vision he or she has to the ensemble how does that work with new pieces? Do you work with the composer to get a better grip of the, of the piece, or is it something that you study first with your uh, with manufacturer? No, well, the first step is to, to to talk to the composer, of course, mm -hmm. and uh, understand this specific idea of the piece, and uh, after that, the rehearsal starts with the musicians. Mm -hmm. yes. To open the concept of an ensemble, mm -hmm. I don't think it's easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, because normally the concept.
concert we see, mm -hmm. they are still very within yeah. the convention. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, mm -hmm. or otherwise you see really very open things, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we try you know to do I mean? both. We try, um, for instance, we mix in a concert, like a performance of pieces on stage, but before and after or in the middle, we do also stations in the building where mm. every performance is like an installation, a human installation, and he uh, cooperates with a piece of art, a hologram or a video or a, a an artist, hmm. so that uh, you have this kind of uh, experience uh, uh, that you don't know if you went to a concert or you went to a museum or you went to a dance show. Or mm -hmm. that's our mm, goal mm. a little bit to to mix everything up, so that you also get people who is not willing to listen to new contemporary music, but uh, they kind of like it because uh, they like this piece of art that it's being created uh, or they in front of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are finding themselves as mm -hmm. an audience of contemporary, of contemporary music, of mm -hmm. exactly. music of creation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. uh, Gregor and Richard, and how is it to play and or what, how your visions in this, in, in this how are our visions expressed in this environment? How you arrive to manufacture, mm -hmm. or how, because uh, you are um, musicians, so uh, how is your work there, or how you see this, mm -hmm. this interdisciplinarity? Well, uh, I guess my story is um, different to my colleagues here, because I joined the ensemble a little bit later, um, in 2013, and um, I come from a background of classical clarinet playing, but also making solo projects with installations or other, other art forms. Um, so for me, the interdisciplinarity is a very natural thing, although I love to play classical music on the clarinet anyway. So for me, the ensemble is um, an outlet to do what I do naturally, artistically, but with other people who also play their instruments at a very high level. Um, and I think it's important that we stay on this track because actually in the new music world um, there aren't so many ensembles with a, a strong engagement with interdisciplinarity. Lots of people are working on new works with composers but combining art forms is still something of a niche market. Gregor? A niche market. Yeah. So a, a niche market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah. Do you see it the same way, Gregor? Yeah, actually, I would just say you said everything. So, <laughs> 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 now for me, it, it's basically. I mean, I'm I'm part of the of the team from the beginning when we had an amazing time in in the Academy of Ensemble Modern where we all met basically, and we had in which city in Frankfurt where that ensemble is based, and we were um, scholarship holders. And basically what we had was a uh, very intensive playground for new music. So we, we had very intensive projects and every two weeks, of, two weeks of a month we would just also be in a fabric <laughs> with different fabric. And then another two weeks we would prepare for the next project. So we were already like um, forming as an ensemble in that time. Uh, and by now it's not, let's say we are not all left from that time but for instance the three of us a trumpet player and um, new people came in but the idea that we that was the core for us from that time that we like to perform new music pieces on a on a high level and as well look out for interdisciplinary things or performance things that's that is what is carrying the ensemble and um, yeah that that is for me as a player is very interesting too because um, I mean, I also like to play classical stuff, but um, the main interest is this challenge of um, new music, which is for me like learning always a new language. Like I was uh, talking to, to Diego, the, the composer of the solo piece, and, and while working with him, there was many suggestions in the piece. And I was like, do you want this or you want this and you want this? And then he would say, no, I want this. And I was like, I want something else. But then to get, okay, he wants something specific. He has an idea. Okay, I, I will follow that. And for me, that's a very, um, 
valuable process to also step back and to see, okay, what does he actually want? What is his language, kind of? So, mm -hmm. Talking of how do you say your own vision in the ensemble, I was thinking Gregor is very typical mum uh, player. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because he's not only a great flutist, but he also plays uh, Japanese flutes. He also uh, mm. sings uh, um, overtone singing from Mongolia. Really? Yeah, not in Grisé, but... <laughs> <laughs> so all these kind of uh, crazy things that nobody ha has, uh, he also brings into the ensemble. So we have pieces where he was uh, doing this overtone singing, remember, or, he, yeah. uh, or experiences where he was playing a Japanese uh, flute. So we are very open to, to new inputs. Mm -hmm. Because, for example, uh, we saw the concert of Sabrina Ma, mm -hmm. that, uh,